Hello, I'm Deborah Kozowski from Deborah Kozowski International. I'm a best-selling author, certified executive coach, and speaker. Today I want to talk to you on the topic of habits. Habits can be good and habits can be bad. But habits are those actions that we take that are automatic. Hence, they're called habits. We don't think about them. They take away the decision making. It's something that we automatically do. Like toss our coat in um, on the couch when we get home. It might be that we have a desk that's covered in papers and when we're looking for something we can't find it. Or misplacing the car keys. These are just some of the habits that can add up in your day. Habits can be good or bad. They have positive outcomes or negative consequences. They're little things that we do every day that we don't think about. They're very unconscious. And some of the impact shows up later on in life, not in, in our immediate concerns, so it's not on our radar. So something that I want you to think about is some of your daily habits. From your morning routine to your bedtime routine. Thinking about when you get up in the morning, you're going to the washroom, you're washing your hands, you're brushing your teeth, and carrying on with your day. There are many different habits that can serve you and don't serve you. So think about the habits that you have in your life right now. Like the cluttered desk. If you can't find an important document, it's going to take up a lot of time and energy. If you miss an appointment or you're late for meetings, what does that say about you? Not only that, you're rushing in. I've done it. I've sometimes not have prepared for something and I've rushed into a meeting and it doesn't make you look prepared. And even though you might have everything ready to go, you get in there flustered and just hard to focus initially until you settle your energy down. So how much better would it feel if you came prepared and sat back and taken everything in where you can be ready to share your great ideas and ask the questions that you want to. So thinking about some of those habits. The other habit is, I used to skip breakfast. I was in a hurry, I'd be running out the door, not grab something for breakfast, sometimes wouldn't eat till lunchtime. That's not good for my body, it's not good for yours. So I started incorporating things that would be quick meals, um, wraps, smoothies, protein shakes that I can take on the go so that I can kickstart my metabolism and have it going for the day. Started to re-examine some of the other habits, extra portion sizes, things like that. But when it comes to your, also your leadership style, thinking about how when you're leading teams or working with others, do you have it? have a habit of micromanaging, questioning every move that someone makes versus coming from a place of being curious and really wanting to understand and be a learner and understand why people make the decisions that you do. When you're micromanaging, people mistrust you. They also question their own competencies and wondering if they're ever going to fulfill those obligations or expectations that you have. The other thing to working with your habits and knowing that there's consequences, when you put yourself in a habit, like the protein shake I talked about earlier, or being prepared for the meeting ahead of time, or setting your schedule for the night before, those habits are going to be positive habits that prepare you and set you up for the successes that you want. And they can also be um, information pieces where you can share with others, teach others of what your success strategies are. So think about the habits you have, what do you need to change and what would make the greatest impact in your life right now?